good afternoon this is felicia in the f1 uh it's been a while so i haven't done these reviews so i'm gonna get right to it to review the spanish grand prix which i watched a little bit later as i was out on sunday and enjoying the beautiful weather in the uk um so i'll get to it so highlights low lights hot takes first off um spanish grand prix pretty good race for what it was we expected i probably had low expectations like everyone else so it was actually quite good. Um, wasn't as much of a procession. Yes, it was a hand bop ver situation, but surprisingly that last third of the race really was exciting. Um, so on to the highlights, congratulations to Lewis on his third victory of the season. It was, you know, Lewis versus Max round four. Lewis is won it, you know, three to one so far. It was Hungary 2019 revisited a lot of people have pointed out but strategy, strategy, strategy won out in the end um, and out uh, class the, the Red Bulls. Um, as we've been saying, Red Bull seems to be faster, but Mercedes are smarter. I don't know how to say this truth. Red Bull have really good quality pace. It seems like Mercedes still have really good quality pace, but the race pace is what puts them at advantage. Um, that's what it, it seems like in early, early stages. Um, congratulations to, not congratulations, but well done to Daniel, obviously getting on top of the McLaren. I know he's the new driver, but um, a qualified uh, Lando and, and um, did better than Lando this uh, this year. So good to him. And then Charles having a phenomenal year in that Ferrari, doing really well, um, P4, P6, I think P4. So he's um, doing really well qualifying as well as can bring those um, qualifiers, qualifying sessions into really good strong positions, uh, race positions. Um, so hopefully good things will happen uh, to Ferrari and to him uh, and Monaco too. On to the lights, in my notes. Checo was nowhere. Um, so Red Bull weren't really able to play the strategy game unlike Mercedes. I know that he did well enough, of course, but of course there was a, a big gap between Max and him where strategy couldn't be an issue. So. Um, I'm hopeful he'll turn it around. I know he's talented and, you know, and I know that the car is really strong, so I'm sure he will do well in Monaco. Um, secondly, uh, turn 10, <laughs> I think the opinion of turn 10 it was pretty neutral to negative. Wasn't really useful for Formula One. Consensus was it was more useful for MotoGP. So nothing really happened with the new turn 10 updates, I think, um, except for like Yuki. DNFing there. Um, and then I think uh, Lando during practice had a trip to the gravel. Um, and then um, Aston Martin, they were promised upgrades. They haven't really converted. If anything, it's put them on the back foot. Should we? Should they be thinking about 2022 already this early in the season? Um, which is disappointing since a lot of people had high hopes um, for both Lance and, and Sebastian as well. Um, the ugly. Unfortunately, Yuki Sonoda, he had the issue during qualifying. He made some comments, potentially misinterpreted. He had to issue an apology. Um, we're four races in, and he's a rookie, and he's already having to issue apologies about his words. You know, his, he'll learn. And then, unfortunately, he DNF'd. Um, not his fault. There was a power issue, so um, not ideal for his uh, his start, his rookie start. And then Mazepin watch. Uh, um, last week he finished 50 seconds behind his teammate um, and lapped, <laughs> was lapped. Um, this week it is Toto Wolf going on FI asking for blue flags, which was interesting. And I think a lot of people's, you know, were pretty interested in seeing that in the, uh, in the FOM feed um, in the coverage. That's it for me. Um, I hope you guys are all having a good week. I think, um, oh, and one thing to note, which is quite interesting, um, celebrities back in hospitality. Antoine Griezmann was at the Mercedes paddock. I know that they did some social media posts. Is this the sign of celebrities going back to you know, the different teams again? Are we going to see this a lot in Monaco, considering it's the first like street race and it's Monaco, and there's going to be um, an audience and crowd? So just something to think about. I don't know. Me, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be. Uh, a bit of partying, a bit of glamour back into Formula One and it's our first race with that, even though we're still in COVID times. So that's my thoughts. Um, love to hear your thoughts, comments below. Uh, this has been Felicia on F1. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.